Cambio Trust is a landscape charity dedicated to connecting all of us to our places and our role in caring for them. We engage with local and visiting communities, old and young, to generate a sense of informed pride in heritage and landscape. We promote the burn as the ultimate learning landscape and as a means of future sustainable management of the region. We develop and share knowledge of best practice in active community stewardship, place-based and community-based learning. This year, in light of worldwide events, we decided to hold an online symposium with a focus on learning from our local landscapes. With an emphasis on place in a post-COVID world. Really impressed over the since I've visited the Burren eight or nine years ago. Uh, with the quality of the place-based education that's going on through Burren Bio. And I think it's a model that's appropriate for uh, lots of places around the world. So I'm uh, thrilled to be kind of affiliated with the work that you're doing. How this kind of place-based education practiced by Burren Bio educators can provide a vision of what education can be like in the post-pandemic world. He basically makes the case that we all come from indigenous people. Uh, that every culture, if you go back far enough, you'll find indigenous thinking. Um, and increasingly in the United States, and I write about this quite a bit in the new book with this behind me, but in Our Wild Calling, I talk about this quite a bit, uh, that indigenous knowledge is now being valued more by education in the United States than it's ever been. It's still not nearly enough. Um, there is indigenous knowledge, although it's called different things in Ireland and other places as well. And it's deeply rooted in history and prehistory and place. Yeah, it's just so amazing. Whenever I teach tracking, normally I can only teach as many people as I can fit around a muddy puddle. So that there are 85 of you here today is just a bonus for me and hopefully a bonus for all of the wildlife out there and this ancient skill that I want to introduce you to today. The title of this workshop is Wildlife Tracking as a Way of Belonging Ourselves to the Land, that we can be active agents in belonging ourselves to a place if we don't feel like we have that belonging um, and it's my belief and my hope that through practicing these really ancient skills which have been so key in our development as humans that we can begin to re-belong ourselves to a place and then to, to care about it. And that was another uh, really learning piece from the kind of COVID experience. We walked roads around Salt Hill that we had never walked before and possibly will never walk again because they're just not nice to walk on because there's so many cars and they're so busy with traffic. Um, but when the cars were taken off the roads, we walked and we discovered beautiful trees and gardens and old houses. And um, at the start of lockdown, when all of the cherry and apple blossoms were in bloom, uh, we were kind of making our, our roots to, to try to find the most beautiful trees and it really it changed my engagement with the place um, quite significantly and I do think that having been forced in a lot of ways to connect um, more deeply with some of the, the elements of this place um, I see it a little bit more now as home than I would have um, and it's less of somewhere that I'm living while I'm looking for my forever home um, but what I think is really interesting and really key to, to what Burn Bo is about is that if anybody decided they were going to develop that park or cut down those trees or get rid of these gates, I would be immediately involved in a, an action or I would organise myself an action to stop that from happening because they mean something to me now. I have a connection to them. And that really is what uh, Burn Bio Trust is all about. And being
being out there and being within plants and, and near them, it really does, you know, fill me up. And I suppose it's just made me who I am. It's made me a calmer person. It's made me sort of see the bigger picture um, and to see how important, I suppose, it can be um, to garden and to grow your own food. And I suppose I've been doing that now for 30 odd years. Our story can, you know, like we're not talking about getting children rote learning or learning off names of plants and facts and figures and all of that. It's certainly not the way to go. And it's not the way I learned my nature going to school. It was through continuous engagement, repetition, that you eventually came to know the plant as a companion, as a friend, someone, something you wouldn't uh, destroy or do anything like that too. So um, I think, you know, telling children the story behind a, even a common plant like a daisy or a yarrow growing on the side of the road or even in the, in the uh, school grounds. To watch the full sessions of the Learning Landscape Online Symposium, please visit our YouTube channel, Burnbio Trust. For more information on our approach to place-based learning, please visit our website, burnbio.com.